Myths and music have been intertwined since the earliest days of human culture. Filmmakers have been using these two elements effectively in their works to create masterpieces. In this video essay, we analyze how the Malayalam movie Mara uses myths and music to create a misanse that emotionally and culturally connects with the audience. Mara, released in 2000, is an adaptation of the work Nashtapetta Nilambari, translated as The Lost Nilambari by the Indian writer Kamala Das. Written and directed by Lenin Rajendran, the film is a musical drama and a coming-of-age narrative of the protagonist Subhadra. The music was composed in both Carnatic and Hindustani ragas by the maverick musician of Malayalam, Ravindran Master, while Kaida Pramdamodhan Nambudari, Obi Usha, Yusapari Kecheri and K. Jayakumar wrote the lyrics for his beautiful renderings. As I mentioned earlier, the movie is an adaptation of the work Nashtapata Nilambari. And what is Nilambari? It is a raga in Carnatic music that is derived from Shankara Bharanam. This passionate and intense raga evokes feelings of love, loss and longing and is known for its theroptic and sleep-inducing effects. The classic Malayalam lullaby Omena Tingal Kidavu by Iraiman Tambi is composed in Nilambari. The raga is associated with rain, which is often seen as a symbol of new beginnings and growth or as the destructive power that washes away our hopes and dreams. Hence Mara becomes a perfect title for this film that throughout Lee uses Nilambari Raga as its abstract narrator. Subhadra, the protagonist, is a teenager who is uprooted from Bangalore to her father's native Shivapuram, a village in Madurai that projects rich Hindu traditions and music. Shivapuram means the land of Shiva, and as per Hinduism, music originated from the five mouths of Lord Shiva. He is also credited with creating the Saptaswaras or the seven basic notes of music. Though Subhadra feels unwelcomed in the new place, it's the music of the land that pulled her towards its core. The prime scenes were set in the Meenakshi Amman Temple, Madurai, where Subhadra meets her first love, Ramanuja Shaftigal, a music teacher and a priest of the temple. She is enticed by the hymn in Nilambari Daga that Shastrigal sings in praise of Meenakshi Devi, the principal deity of the temple. Subhadra has a close resemblance to the deity goddess. Legends say that when the Carnatic maestro Shama Shastri sang his hymn before the Meenakshi deity, the goddess responded with a visible sign of her divine presence. Similarly, Shastrigal too gets the first glimpse of Subhadra while he sings the sacred hymn before the deity of Meenakshi Devi. Initially, she falls for his voice and then her love blossoms for the person when he starts teaching her music. Another myth is that according to the Tamil text Tiruvalayattu Puranam, King Maredoja Pandya and his wife Kanjanamalai performed a ritual to have a son for succession. Instead, a daughter was born who was already three years old and had three breasts. Lord Shiva intervened and advised the parents to treat her like a son and said that when she meets her husband, she will lose her third breast. The girl grew up and when she met Shiva, his words came true. She took her true form of Meenakshi. Similarly, Subhadrakya was raised very liberally by her parents, a privilege that only boys used to get those days. And initially, in Shivapuram, she was different from the other girls in her western attire and food habits. Nyanam, her local friend, says that she doesn't look like a Hindu as she had in the Chandanam on her forehead and was looking at the sensual sculptures in the temple which was a taboo. But after Subhadra finds her love, she slowly transforms into a village girl often wearing the traditional Davani and finding her inner self just like the transformation of Meenakshi Devi. Hence, the temple stands not just as a sacred or aesthetic artifact but also as a reflection of Subhadra herself. The temple is also known for its erotic architecture and sculpture such as the Midanagama carving that depicts the sexual union of Meenakshi and Shiva. In Subhadra, the teenage protagonist is fascinated by these carvings on her first visit to the temple. Later, the temple becomes the site where she first experiences a manly and sensual affection from Shastrigal. In this way, Subhadra embraces both the spiritual and physical awakenings and the temple symbolizes this duality. The soundtrack of Mara are considered to be timeless classics that is a subtle blend of both Hindustani and Carnatic ragas. Each raga in the songs along with the lyrics are flawlessly elevating the mood and meaning of the situation it is placed in. 
ഷുഭദ്ര റോഡ് ലറിക്സ് ഇത്രമേൽ മണമുള്ള കുളമുല്ല പൂവിന് എത്ര ജ്ഞാക്കൾ ഉണ്ടായിരിക്കും വിച്ച് ട്രാൻസ്ലേറ്റ്സ് ടു ഹൗ മെയ് ഡ്രീംസ് ഗുഡ് എ ഫ്ലവർ വിത്ത് സച്ച് എ സ്വീറ്റ് ഫ്രാഗ്രൻസ് ഹാവ് ഫോർ ഹർ ദ ഫ്ലവർ ഇസ് എ മെറ്റഫർ ഫോർ ശാസ്ത്രികൾ ഹൂം ഷീ ഹാഡ് നോട്ട് യെറ്റ് ഫുള്ളി എക്സ്പ്ലോർഡ് ശാസ്ത്രികൾ ഹൂ റീഡ് ദീസ് ലറിക്സ് പബ്ലിഷ്ഡ് ഇൻ എ മാഗസീൻ ട്യൂൺഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഇൻ കർണാടിക് രാഗ മോഹനം ആൻഡ് സാങ് ഇറ്റ് ഫോർ ഹർ In the book, the Bhagavad Gita, the spiritual song, Krishna tells Arjuna that everyone is born with the ability to appreciate and respond to Mohanam Raga, which is the Raga of love and devotion. Hence, it is believed that if anyone randomly tunes a lyric, it is more probable to be in Mohanam Raga with or without the composer's knowledge. That's exactly what we see in this situation too. By tuning these lyrics, even Shastrigal would have been wondering about the fragrant flower Subhadra, who is multifaceted and yet undiscovered by him. The Mohanaraga is his blooming love and devotion for the girl. The song Aradim Parim is also composed in the same raga where Subhadra is in the early phase of revealing her love for Shastrigal. The lyrics beautifully expresses the dilemma of who is going to reveal their love for each other first. There is an utmost desire for Subhadra to express her feelings to Shastrigal, but something is holding her back, which might be the fear of rejection. The song's melody captures the conflicting emotions of Subhadra's heart. The slow tempo and gentle notes convey her longing for Shastrigal, while the occasional dissonant chords hint at the fear and uncertainty. Amritavarshini Ragam, also known as Mekamil Har in Hindustani, is a versatile raga that carries a plethora of emotions. There is a myth that this raga has the power to bring rain. This myth is based on the belief that music has the power to influence the natural world. When Subhadra asks Charles Rigal if his song could bring rain, he replies that it could, but only in the heart of Subhadra. It is then that the song Ashadam Parambol appears. ആഷാഠം പാടുമ്പോൾ ആത്മാവിൻ രാജങ്ങൾ ആനന്ദ നൃത്തമാടുമ്പോ വെള്ളാരം മുത്തും കൊണ്ടാകാശം പ്രേമത്തിൽ കൈക്കുമ്പോൾ മനസ്സിലും The song is about the Ashadam month which is the monsoon season in India. It is believed that this month is inauspicious and couples stay apart during this period. But here the couple Subhadra and Shastrigal are drawn closer. As the song suggests the music of Ashadam makes their soul dance in bliss and romance and yes as you have guessed the song is composed in Amrita Varshini Ragam its notes flow together like drops of rain creating a sense of peace and tranquility unfortunately the couple is not allowed to unite and their lives fall apart Shastrigal marries Nyanam his cousin and Subhadra's friend Subhadra leaves Shivapuram and chooses the profession of a physician like her father She is married to Chandran who was unlike Shastriya. He never discovers Subhadra's fragrance and often uses her only to satisfy his sexual needs. In the new setting the song Manninde Marito Ormagal Kulil is played. This song is composed in Bhakti Sri Ragam which often depicts separation and the longing for the reunion with one's lover. Hence this raga reaches its pinnacle during midnight the time when separated lovers desire each other. Here We see Subhadra writing her diary at midnight reminiscing about the memories of her lost love. The song compares her hidden memories of Shastrigal to the slender moonlight that appears within the frozen snow. She sings about Lord Krishna whom she writes about in her diary and she could be comparing him to Shastrigal giving her lost lover a divine figure. Chandran's intrusion into Subhadra's personal space by reading her diary without her knowledge and questioning her about her Krishnan enrages and hurts her deeply. The memories of Krishnan who is Shastrika that's something that she wanted to cherish in the privacy of her own mind. In the song Varmugile to Subhadra mentions her Krishnan who comes to her memories while looking at the rainy cloud. Varmugile 
The song is composed in jog ragam. This ragam has two ga notes: shuddha gandharam in the arohanam, that is the ascending scale, and komala gandharam in the avarohanam, the descending scale. These two notes are not interchangeable, creating a sense of duality or binary. While singing the song for Chandran, Subhadra is struck with the memories of her beloved Krishna. These memories appear like the extra ga note, reflecting the duality and conflict in Subhadra's heart between the life she wanted and the life she is living. Chandran forcefully demands to know who is the Krishna in that Subhadra worship in her songs. He tortures her so badly that she loses her ability to sing. Music was the only therapy or medication that Subhadra had for herself despite being a physician. She was dedicated to her professional ethics and to healing her patients, but ironically she was unable to heal herself from the scars that life had inflicted on her. She believed that only Nilambari Radha of Shastrigal could heal her. Chandran later repents, but he suffers from a chronic liver disease and dies without fulfilling his dream of visiting Shivapuram with Subhadra. Subhadra is now completely broken inside and desperately needs the therapy of Nilambari Radha. She visits Shivapuram to reclaim her lost music. She finds her friend Nyanam who is mentally unstable and who believes that her husband Shastrigal is dead. But Subhadra encounters Shastrigal in the Meenakshi temple and pleads with him to sing the Nilambari hymn for one last time. However, Shastrigal has lost his voice after a surgery for throat cancer and is no longer able to sing. Subhadra is shocked and realizes that her soul can no longer be healed. Neither was she therapized by Nilambari, nor was sedated by its lullaby, even for a momentary relief, because her Nilambari was lost forever.